So that's when I was on the football field playing football for my school. And then my mom was like, come here. You know, they got the fences around the school. My mom right down. I'm like, what's up? She's like, we leaving tomorrow. I'm like, leaving tomorrow? Where we going? Atlanta. I'm like, for what? So like, we got a meeting with Jermaine Dupree. I'm like, oh, who was that? She's like, you know, crisscross. As soon as she said crisscross, and, and rest in peace to Chris. Right. I was like, no, I'm cool. Because I, 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 I was such a hater of crisscross being on death row. Why? Because I used to stay at the La Montrose Hotel at ABC. That's the hotel used to be popping. Yeah. And you know, crisscross didn't fuck with ABC. Right. And crisscross was so big. And I'm like, damn, being on death row, that's where I'm supposed to be at. Right. I'm watching these going up. Like, right. I'm like, I hate these. <laughs> like, I, that's why I know I just hate me. Like, take right. niggas' girlfriends in school. Yeah. I'm like, I get it. Like, yeah. I could not, I despise Chris Cross. And then once I met ABC, I clicked with them. Right. right? And then once I found out that they didn't get along, I'm like, oh, I believe, oh, nah, like, this, this is crazy. So yeah. I'm telling my mom, like, I never heard of JD. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like what, like, what the? And I told my mom, like, I don't even want to do this. I don't even want to rap. I just want to be regular. I just want to play football. I want to, you know, I want to be a kid. Right. Okay, my ass on that flight the next day. I'm talking about. Went to Atlanta, got the high, which is still there. Went to the high in Buckhead. JD had me in the in the high all day, all day. I'm like, man, when is this coming? I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Matter of fact, I ran into Jay Z. I was checking in. Jay Z was checking in, and I was so removed from like East Coast rapping at the time, being on LA and being with Death Row. So all we heard was West Coast. So. When I first saw Hov in the lobby, I'm looking. I'm like, he looked familiar. But then again, like, I know he's somebody, but I don't know. Yeah. But it was around the time that touch me. Mm-hmm. It was when anything was hot, all that mm-hmm. shit. So that night, they had a show at the atrium in Atlanta. JD finally come pick me up. Same type of shit, take me to the crib. They had like 12 cars lined up in the back. 13 dogs, pool. Had a chick running around the car. I'm like, oh, this is fuck. Like, this, this got to be rich. Yeah. Like, this the first guy I seen me peeing up in the coke, like the cocaine white. Continental T Billy, never seen no shit like that. I'm like, what's why I gotta be on the car? Why I just gotta be on the car? So from there, perform that night. That's on YouTube too. Me, Jay Z, and JD. I'm performing. Hove is like a hype man for me. Wow. And when JD saw me do that, it was a wrap. He said shit. that like Hove, nothing. Hove was hype man. Yeah. Yeah. This crazy. is Hove we talking about, yeah. bro. You can you can hear everybody MC in the back. He doing the ad. Yeah. Everybody's like, collective ready. record skip like, when he said that part. <laughs> what song Hove was, was that? Was ready. It was a song that was written for me uh, by someone when I was in Columbus, just making like my little circuit around and. I was sitting on the stage the whole time, and Brad was like, man, JD, man, let the, the whole time that's how I was feeling while I was on stage, I'm sitting on the DJ booth. I'm like, I hope I get that mic. That's all I'm thinking in my head at like 11. I'm like, I want the fucking mic. Like, I, I just want it yeah. so bad. And then Brad was like, man, let the little nigga go. The little nigga want to go. Yeah. JD, he, he ready. And so he's like, yo, Jay, I'm about to bring my little nigga out here woo, woo, and get the mic. And Hope's just like, <laughs> Like you got what the footage is hilarious. Oh, like, uh huh. Like, he's just hyping everything while I'm busting. I'm just going crazy. Crowd going nuts. Mm. And that was a night right there. Jay said, How old were you? It's up. I was 11. Mm. And was he knew 11. the words to the song? I did. No, Jay. Nah, he was just doing like the, uh huh. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Like, all that <laughs> shit. And I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Like, uh-huh. this, it's up after this. And then Jay mm. was like, he ready. Mm. It's time to get to work now. But I had to sit on the label for two years and all of that shit, recording songs. The first, I think the first song we did was for Wild Wild West soundtrack. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't going nowhere, but it was just for the soundtrack. And um, yeah, we just stayed at it. And then that's how the whole me and JD shit was mm-hmm. birthed from, from that night right there at the age. No, no friction with Criss Cross in those two years? No, no, which is crazy is like JD knows that and when we did the So So Dev 25th or the 20th anniversary at the Fox, he had a big dinner, right? And it was like so special for him because he had all of his artists at this fucking long, like last supper table, just, you know what I mean? Wow. He was like, yo, I just felt that, you know, this was, this had to be done. All my artists are here. This is amazing, 20 some years. And if you look to your left or right, I put you next to certain motherfuckers because I felt like y'all need to meet or y'all need to talk. and. You know he put me right in the middle of, right in the middle of Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a cool experience because you know we, we lost, uh, you know we, we lost one of the Chris's and I had a chance yeah. to Rest to peace. sit next to him and he was a wild boy man. That boy was turned up and JD was like, 
this nigga crazy. Yeah. And he was like, nah, because you know, you need to, you need to meet. You, you know, y'all need to chop it up. Everybody, I put the table, you know, the seating assignment, the arrangements this way for a specific reason. He did a great yeah, job, you know, birthing like, you know, young artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It was, you came after Chris Crystal. Netwave, yeah. yeah. Yep. Nobody else after that. Rapping wise. Well, the brat was young, was she? When yeah. Jerry, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, brat yeah, was young. Yeah, she was young. Yeah, yeah, not, but not she was young. She was young. Okay. Ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah. was young, urge. She yeah. wasn't like. Absolutely. With y'all yeah, were. Yeah, so it was nobody after Bow Wow. No. They tried. The rap failed. I wanted to ask you about that. So, um,. How did you feel about Lil Bow Wow? We need to find the name? Or just... The rapper. Oh, cocky, confident like a motherfucker. I was ready to go. Yeah. Ready to go. And when Master P came out with his son, mm -hmm. that kind of mimicked that. How did that It was, to, to me, it was... Did you think there was mimicking going on? Um, at that time, because of the similarities, yeah. Because I had the Mickey Mouse chain, he had the Bugs Bunny chain. And then I remember, you know, somebody, I don't know who it was, but it was like, you gotta look at that like a form of flattery. Like, you know, you never met him. You know, it's a possibility he started doing this shit because of you. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And, right. you know, you open up that floodgate. And if I'm P shit, I'm going too. Fuck it. Right. Lane there, let's drive in that motherfucker too. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and then, you know, certain stuff he was doing, I was doing the crib walking and he would do it too. So when we finally met, it, it all made sense, you know? Right. And it was crazy, we brought him up. He actually DM'd me yesterday. If you're watching this room, my, my father, I just, you probably seen the scene, I ain't saying nothing, I saw the message, bro. But um, <laughs> yeah, it, you know, later on, he was like, nigga, I looked up to you. Like, that was, you were my fucking idol. Like, I couldn't help it. Like, I couldn't help but to, I wanna, I'm gonna say, I wanna do everything. Like. I'm just one of the kids that had a parent in the platform where I can do it. And then you had all of us doing this shit. Right. And when we did verses with Soldier, that's why, you know, everybody was making jokes of why he coming out there, why, why? But his whole thing was like, yo, I want to give my bro his roses right now so we can dead everything that people ever thought. Like, I right. really look up to you. I love you, bro. To me, like, you mob, like, and, and that's just what it is. And once we got older, everything was... It was, it was all good. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. I fuck with a lot of people. Y'all do that, though. A lot of people don't acknowledge that fact. Yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? Where yeah. they got their style or where they got yeah. their techniques yeah. from. Yeah, I fuck you know with Romeo. Yeah, I fuck with him. Mm -hmm. For sure. Right. Shout out to Romeo. Man. Yeah, 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 shout, shout out, out to him, Romeo, man. Man. He's smart as fuck. This is hot for trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard.